Of the estimated 29 billion gallons of water used daily by households in the United States, nearly 30% is devoted to outdoor water use. In the hot summer months or in dry climates, a household's outdoor water use can be as high as 70%. Whenever possible, landscape with regionally appropriate, low water using, and native plants. Once established, these plants require little water beyond normal rainfall. Also, because native plants are adapted to local soils and climate conditions, they rarely require the addition of fertilizer and are more resistant to pests and diseases than other species. Grouping vegetation with similar watering needs into specific hydrozones reduces water use by allowing you to water to each zone's specific needs. For example, turf areas and shrub areas should always be separated into different hydrozones because of their differing water requirements. If you're designing a new landscape or rethinking your current landscape, the Water Sense Water Budget Tool can help you plan your landscape for water efficiency. With two simple inputs, zip code and yard size, the Water Budget Tool helps users design their landscape to use a level of water that is appropriate for their climate. You can also save water by raising your lawnmower's cutting height, especially in the summer, when mowing too close to the ground will promote thirsty new growth. Longer grass promotes deeper root growth and a more drought-resistant lawn. Longer grass blades also help shade each other, reducing evaporation and minimizing weed growth. Put a thick layer, at least one inch, but not more than three inches thick, of mulch around trees and other plants to reduce evaporation and cut down on watering. Leave a few inches of space between trunks of woody plants and organic mulches to prevent rot. Keep your soil healthy. Try to use natural fertilizers to create a healthier soil. Aerating your soil with a simple lawn aerator can increase the infiltration of water into the ground, improving water flow to the plant's root zone and reducing water runoff. Check your garden hose for leaks at its connection to the spigot. If it leaks while you run your hose, replace the nylon or rubber hose washer and ensure a tight connection to the spigot using pipe tape and a wrench. And for more tips on how to save water in and around the house, log on to our website and always look for the WaterSense label when you shop.